about you. All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. KJCR, JimmyChurchRadio.com, live from Burbank, California. Wednesday, December 28th, 2011. Proudly brought to you by National Tax Experts. 877-909-5444. NatTaxExperts.com. Live with Hilton and Charlie, the Deacon Dogs. Shoot me an email to Jimmy at JimmyChurchRadio.com. I am your host, Jimmy Church. For SyndicatedNews.net. The ones that make us real. Got us credentialed. They did. We can go anywhere and that'll cause trouble. Who is going to be the next coach for Penn State? Everybody wants to know this. The only person that knows is me. That's right. <laughs> well, tell us, Jimmy, who's going to be the next coach of Penn State? Somebody not <laughs> from around the country. What do you mean? <laughs> the only person that's going to coach Penn State is somebody from Penn State. From within. That's it. Who would coach Penn State? The answer is nobody. There's your answer. Nobody will coach that team. Unless you're from State College. I'm not kidding. Right. Mike McCrary. <laughs> I mean, well, Tom Bradley's there. He's interviewed. You know. Yeah, right. he's interviewed. He wants the gig. It's going to be, if you stop and think what I'm saying, the list of, they can go talk to anybody that, you know what, man, I'm cool. They can talk to anybody they want. No, man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy right here coaching Minnesota in 3-13. and 13. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm just fine coaching the Browns. Talking to the Tennessee Titans, Mike Munchak. Talking to him. Oh, man, I'm, I'm cool, man. <laughs> I'm cool right here in Nashville. I'm not going anywhere. And that's the answer. And I don't want to talk. Uh, you know, it's too easy for me to poke at the, the media out there. I'm trying to make a story out of this. But the truth is, if they really wanted to state the facts, ain't anybody going to coach Penn State unless you come from State College. Nobody wants anything to do with that school, as sad as it is. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about the way things went down. I'm not happy that we broke this story on YouTube, you know, that we might have had something to do with Joe Paterno getting fired. I'm not happy about any of that. I'm not. We got to think about the kids. You know, and that's the reason all of this went down. But I'm going to be honest here and state the facts. Nobody wants to coach Penn State. No football players in high school right now have Penn State on that short list unless they're from State College. Right. If if my kids, my son, my daughter right now, they you know, heading off to college, which they will be in a couple of years, I can tell you right now. Penn State's not on that list. I don't know what the enrollment is, what the numbers are in shrinkage right now for Penn State, but I can tell you enrollment is down. It has to be. There's no way it's up. There's just no way. You know, and what coach is going to want to go and coach that team, a uh, team that is just going to – I just don't want to even think about what the future means. There. So the answer is, when State College comes a calling, the answer is, you know what? Let me get back to you. I'm happy here. Yeah, we're going to double your salary. I know, but you know what? I'm, I'm just cool. I'm happy where I'm at. They might as well get used to that right now. If I'm them, I'm, I'm serious. I just hire Bradley. Forget all the embarrassment. You know, you don't want to have to keep calling those coaches back. Have you made your decision? Have you made your decision? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about it? You don't want to be making those phone calls. Just end the misery right now. Hire Bradley. Move on. For syndicatednews.net, jimmychurchradio.com, I'm your host, Jimmy Church. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> 